Hi, everybody. Welcome to our uh, YouTube video for week four. Um, uh, we, we have a lot to uh, cover today. Uh, we're not having class on um, the on the 16th, so uh, I need to go over um, several things rather quickly uh, that have to do with the uh, personal narrative. And um, and then I, I just at the end, just very briefly, I want to at least put the idea in your heads about um, summary. We're gonna we're gonna be starting on that. Uh, oh, uh, well, you 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 have a summary due on the uh, the twenty sixth. That that one, I think uh, I think we're gonna keep the due date the same for that. It's a short. You're summarizing a short uh, essay, thousand word essay. And uh, your your summary will be between uh, 125 and 250 words. So um, uh, we, we need to get back on track with the due dates here. So I think since that that's a, sh a short uh, in length, short assignment, um, we'll keep that due date of the uh, the 26. So I, I, I we have to discuss summary a little bit today, and then more on the uh, during the YouTube video for. Uh, next week. Okay, so let's get started here. Let me uh, share a screen here. We had left off. Why can't I share a screen? Here we go. Um, we had left off with. Where's my Adobe Acrobat? We were just uh, we were discussing this um, this uh, handout uh, about uh, you know uh, tips on tips on writing the. Uh, the personal narrative. So, um, and I updated this. This is updated on um, on Blackboard. Um, for instance, as you can see, uh, in some cases you may want to use third person, as we discussed during class. Yes. Um, so I, I believe I left off. We uh, we had finished talking about the introductory paragraph. So your body paragraphs. Um, Yes, that, that will be where you will tell your story, or now we will we've also expanded that to perhaps stories, if that's what you want to do. Um, and, and you can also do analysis and reflection in those in those paragraphs. You know, I'm, there's not a really rigid, well, I'm going to show you a diagram later, but it's, it's, not, a, it's not a rigid uh, structure. So tell your story, tell your, tell your stories, do a little analysis, reflection, any body paragraphs, it's all fine. Now I wanna to suggest to you, you don't have to, um, you might wanna use dialogue and that's great. In fact, I created a, a handout about that. Um, it's also on Blackboard and the course documents. I, <laughs> I had um, Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which I wrote a long time ago. Um, it, was just, it was on my desk. So I just took examples from that. Just go by the exam. It's it. I think this covers pretty much any situation you're going to encounter. All right. Um, and, and, oh, and don't read this like a story because I just picked. Um, it, yeah, actually, you could you might think it reads like a story, but these are picked from various parts of the book. So, anyway, but I think it'll cover any situation, whether you have an exclamation point, a question mark, if you introduce the quote before, if you say he said after, it should cover. I think all any situations, and I and here's a tip. This is something when I was first uh, learning to to write essays. This is something that um, it took me a while to learn. All right, if if you have if you have a period or comma next to a closing quotation mark, like here or here always, always, always goes inside the quotation, right? Always. And, and I know sometimes and there, are, there are gonna be cases where you're gonna say, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. It's right, <laughs> all right? Uh, so, so this is correct. This is not correct. This is a, it's a typesetters convention that, and, 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 and this only applies in the United States. And well, the United States, perhaps other countries, it does not apply in Anything you get from United Kingdom, British books, um, you'll see 
I don't want to say it's the opposite, but you'll often, you'll often see the periods and times outside the quotation marks. So just, just remember this, because this is something that bugged, bugged me a lot when I was first learning how to do that. So, so then I hope this helps. If you want to use dialog, just follow the examples and, and should be fine. All right, so going back to this, um, I'll also use details. Details make writing interesting. Um, and uh, as I said before, you can analyze and reflect. Um, and and your body, now I have another handout for you here. This is hand drawn. This, uh, this is the one I was talking about uh, just a moment or so ago. This is a suggested structure for your narrative. And it's pretty much what you're gonna be doing for other essays too, all right? Um, as we discussed in class, title, your hook, background information, your, we're, we're calling it a point here, all right? Um, so your body paragraphs, you're gonna, in some way, support your point, okay? Um, either by telling a story or analyzing, reflecting, whatever. And then um, you're gonna have your conclusion. And this is my thing, <laughs> personal. And I think other instructors feel this way too. Don't write in conclusion or in summary or to sum up or anything like that. Be original when you start your concluding paragraph. And so, you, you know, it's up to you because it's supposed to be original, right? So, um, and then in conclusion, wrap up your story. Well, we're going to get to this in, the, in a moment in the handout here. Um, yes. And also, uh, okay. Um, topic sentences. In, in a, um, an argumentative essay, that kind of essay, the convention is begin each paragraph with a topic sentence, all right? In this in narrative that may or may not be appropriate, use your judgment. I will help you with that after I read the first drafts. Um, sometimes, you know, if you're, if you're right, you're right in the middle of your narrative and then you need, you need to start a new paragraph because it makes sense to start a new paragraph, you probably just want to keep going with the narrative. You don't want to say, oh, I need a topic sentence here. So, you know, don't, don't worry about it. And also, but, but there should be a reason to start a new paragraph. Don't just, uh, there should be an understandable reason to start a new paragraph. Make graceful and logical transitions. Yes, both between sentences and between paragraphs. I gave you a little excerpt from the uh, writer's reference. Um, writer's reference, it, it's, kind of exp uh, it, it's kind of expensive. I, I don't know if you want, you want to get to this right now. But anyway, um, this has, um, information about paragraphs, transitions. Um, here are some common transitions, although I, I believe this says uh, to summarize and conclude, ignore that please. Thank you. Um, but otherwise, these are all very good here. We, uh, you have to rotate it, but you'll see what I mean. So transitions, yes, graceful transitions. Um, yes, and make sure that your readers understand where you are in the narrative and time, you know? So, you know, um, then next, later, you know, use words like that. So they understand where, where at what point in the narrative you are. Um, and yeah, I suggest three body paragraphs. If you need four or maybe you need two, uh, don't, don't think, oh, I got to do three body paragraphs, right? Whatever fits your, what, you, what you're doing, right? Don't write in conclusion, thank you. Um, wrap up your story. Yeah, yeah, so if, if you, that might be an original way to start your concluding paragraph, but you know, like wrap up your story. Okay, good. Um, and then please, and especially if it's a story that, uh, you know, is like a family, we just talk about family stories or, or that sort of thing, please discuss how, how it affected you, you know, why it's relevant in your life. If it's changed you, maybe it hasn't changed you. You can say that too, that's, that's interesting. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that. this handout and I got to keep moving here. We got a lot to cover quickly. I showed you this. These are all on Blackboard. Have a look. They're, they're there to help you. Not required reading it, but it's all there to help you. I mean, a lot of handouts here. So this, this is just copied from writer's reference. Uh, I showed you the dialogue handout. Just use the examples, model your example. When your dialogue, I'm, I'm talking about punctuation. Um, just follow the examples here. I think that'll be, that, that's what you need to know here. Um, okay, let's still work side. If you decide that you want to include 
uh, short, please, passages. Don't, don't do block quotes. I told you that the last time, right? Short passages, you know, a sentence, uh, maybe shorter than that, from Trayvon Generation or the slur. Um, you should document it properly, all right? As I discussed in the previous YouTube. Um, for this, I'm going to give you the what you need for the list of works cited, all right? So here they are. Okay, if you decide to quote both of them, please include both of these in your list of works cited or just one or the other. If you're not going to quote, then you don't need a list of works cited because it's, it's all your work. So, um, yes, if you if you only include one source, it would be work cited, not works cited. And yeah, MLA, they say, oh, you should start work cited on an, on the next page, uh, start a new page. If you have room at, you know, on the, the last page of your essay, there's a lot of room there. I don't mind. Put put it put the list of works cited there. It's a short. You know, it's okay. And then, oh yeah, yeah. So the um, these are online sources, and even the PDFs that I put on Blackboard are derived from online sources. So when I created a PDF, it was my web browser that put the page numbers. In. So essentially, we don't have page numbers for these. Sources. So just when you cite it, Alexander, huh, no page numbers. All right. And uh, that's it. This is for this is this is the basic format from the MLA handbook. Probably later in the semester, I'll have you do a few of these because you're going to need to know, especially for English 10, for English 10 12, you're going to need to know this. Right? Um, okay. Then I have the, oh yeah, here's, <laughs> here's Roby Writer. I got about five more minutes here. Here's Roby Writer. Uh, this is a sample. This is a sample essay. This is actually provided by the English department. And when I read this down here, I put it this. I I had to say something. I put a, a disclaimer here because I I didn't really like what Roby Ryder was saying here. Okay, you'll see what I mean. But that's not the point of this. This is to show you the formatting for the um, for the, the 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 design, the visual design of your of your of your uh, paper, all right? This is MLA standard formatting. You might wanna create a template for this in your word processes so you don't have to set it up every time. Uh, that's an, that, that would be an excellent idea. I, I did that years ago. Um, okay, so yeah, one inch margins all around. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Have a look at this. Everything is double spaced, everything, okay? That helps me too, you know? <laughs> Uh, I got old eyes here. So uh, everything is double spaced. And importantly, most word process, I know, I know Microsoft Word, and it wasn't always this way, but a few versions back, they started, it started a default to uh, sp add space after paragraph, all right? So for MLA, you don't want that. You wanna just continue the double spacing right through your, through your document, okay? If you don't turn that off and you add space at the paragraph, if you don't turn that off in your word processor, you're going to wind up with, um, I think you'll wind up with three spaces here, right? And you don't want that, okay? So um, turn that off, turn off add space at the paragraph in your, in your word processor. And add, you know, add that to your template. And that way you don't have to worry about it again. Um, so this is, and I've seen some, some of you have done this already in, in some of your submissions. So some of you know this already, your name, my name, English 1010. I like this to be the date of your last revision of the paper. Um, you need a running header here, your last name, page number, half inches, uh, half, half an inch between the top of the page and your running header, okay? Uh, title centered, um, paragraphs, half inch in depth, okay? Every paragraph, half inch in depth. And then in the next page, same thing, it's the running header. Then you work cited or work cited, same setup of the page. The one thing, and I'll show you that you saw that already on the, um, uh, the, um, the, the work cited list for uh, Alexander and, and, and Han. Um, if, if this runs more, if, if a, an entry on your list runs more than one line, you want a hanging indent, half an inch, right? And that's it. Um, that's how set it up once in a template and 
You won't have to worry about it again. Um, okay, let's see here. We got, yeah, I'm running out of time here. Um, so yes, on the syllabus, on the 26th, you have your first summary due. That's gonna be, don't, don't worry about this right now. I'm just putting, did any of you see the movie Inception? I'm putting this idea in your head right now, but summary, okay? So we're gonna be summarizing the Okara uh, essay. It's a thousand word essay. And um, you're gonna be doing a summary of about uh, like 125 to 250 words, all right? And um, let me find, I gotta, hold on, I gotta start to share again. Uh, let's share my Blackboard. On course documents, I've put a helpful, uh, this is from Harvard, the uh, uh, Writing Center of Harvard. You've got uh, their page on, on summary. You can have a look at that, um, that may help you. And we'll discuss this more in the next, uh, in the next YouTube. Um, all right, I think, uh, I think that's it. Uh, I've covered, everything, all the new stuff that I put on Blackboard. Um, and I covered all of these uh, documents in all these PDF documents, yes. All right, so uh, yeah, um, work on your paragraphs, uh, 250 words for um, about the, uh, the personal narrative. And um, today's Saturday, uh, if you happen to watch this early, have, have a, enjoy the rest of the weekend. And um, I will not see you on Thursday. So please, um, I will have, yes, I will have office hours on, I'll put this in an email. I will, I will have office hours on Tuesday. I will not have office hours on Thursday because of uh, the, the uh, Yom Kippur uh, observance. So, um, Come to office hours, email me, any questions, concerns. We're going to have to do it that way because we're not going to have a class again until the 23rd. So let's stay in touch, all right? Any questions? And um, we'll have another YouTube next week. So um, bye for now. Bye-bye.